My name is Tyler Freeman with Sports Consulting Services. I'm here to discuss some options in attendance and ticket sales for the Nashville Sounds. I first want to congratulate, congratulate you on the successful completion of your new stadium, First Tennessee Park. It has been a long time in the making and truly needed to improve the team and community that surrounds it. They have had the same stadium since 1978, so it was about time. I'd also like to congratulate you uh, on last year's season, 2016. The Sounds had the best record in the Pacific Coast League at 83 wins and 59 losses. This sets up the 2017 season perfectly to increase sales. So for the first thing, my goal is to help you, the Vice President of Ticket Sales, fill the seats of this wonderful new stadium. I believe I have good suggestions that will make this happen. The 2016 season proved to be very successful, making my job even more challenging. Last season, First Tennessee Park saw 500,000 fans. It's incredible. It's a great number, but even more impressive when you relate it to something meaningful. Let me show you what I mean. And the numbers that I'm about to show you are assuming it is a perfect world, so just be mindful of that. So First Tennessee Park has an 8,500 seating capacity, and the 2016 season had 72 home games. That means there could have been a total of 612,000 fans in the stadium that year. This works out to be 82% of full capacity, or 6,970 fans per game on average. For 2017, there are 71 home games, or a full capacity of 603,500 seats. Our goal for this year is to increase from 82% to 90% of full capacity. This works out to be 5, 542,700 fans for the year, or 7,650 fans per game on average again. That's an increase of 680 fans per game. Sounds like a lot, but we've got to have a goal, and I think these are actually attainable goals. The question is, how are we going to meet this short-term goal? Nashville is a great city. It has a lot to offer. The music shops, restaurants, even honky-tonk bars for millennial generation. There is something for everyone in Nashville. Oh, don't forget about the Grand Ole Opry. Nashville truly is the home of country music. So with these businesses, we have to continue the promotional offers with them. And it has to be communicated to the public. Sometimes the word just doesn't get out and that there is more to do on your Nashville Sounds baseball trip than just watch baseball. Further, people must sleep somewhere. And the idea is to bring them in with baseball and our new stadium, then allow the fans to enjoy the rest of the city. So why not partner with a hotel company where fans can book their rooms in advance, show the hotel their sounds ticket, and receive a 5 or 10% discount on their stay. I mean, that number could be negotiated at, at the end of our plan, but it's a good starting point. The next part is my favorite. I like to call it fan engagement. No one likes to feel left out. An easy way to make every fan feel like they're a part of something is to organize the colors fans wear for the seat section or sections they're in. Nashville Sound's colors are red, white, and black. On each ticket, there would be a note that says, support the sounds wear you know, red, white, or black, one of the three colors. These sections could be changed once a month, once every two weeks, or every other series of games. That way, people will get the chance to wear a different color. Further, this could drive merchandise sales so the fan won't feel left out when the color changes. And you can't go wrong buying clothes. Apparel is a huge merchandise um, helper. You could change up the color scheme for special events even. Maybe you want to change instead of red, white, and black, you want to use red, white, and blue for 4th of July weekend. Or wear your favorite armed forces for armed forces category for armed forces day. So how will this affect the community? Representing the National Sounds colors will cause community members to engage in talks about the colors, leading to discussion about the sounds and First Tennessee Park. 
Local news channels will begin to cover the games more and show pictures from above the stadium on their social media profiles or news networks. These um, pictures of First Tennessee Park with all the segregated colors will go on social media with hashtag sounds good. Basically, we are raising awareness about how great First Tennessee Park is and how great the Nashville sounds are. We must be enthusiastic about our services to the fans. This will definitely help us retain the people coming in. Once we get them in, we have to keep them in. Not to the park, but keep them coming back. So will it work? These, the easiest example I can show you is the neighborhood down the road in Knoxville. The Tennessee Volunteers are always filling the stadium with checkerboard orange and white. I have my orange and white on, Tennessee fan. At the beginning of their games, the stadium appears to be full, at least this year anyway. Another example is MTSU, Middle Tennessee State University. ESPN covers one of their football games each year. And on this game, most, most of the time it's this game, the fans wear black when the colors, uh, the school colors are actually blue and white. So they have a blackout. Uh, the NFL also does pink during the month of October for breast cancer awareness. It's not a lot, but the players wear pink gloves, pink shoes, socks, headbands, little, you know, accents of pink. Um, and the fans wear those too. The fans will um, have pink apparel as well. So why can't baseball benefit from this fan engagement too? The previous examples were all football. Why, why doesn't baseball do this? So I think we have a good opportunity here to set the standard. And we can mention sales figures briefly. So let's say that we meet our goal, bringing in 90% of full capacity for the 2017 season. Assuming that individual tickets cost more than season tickets, because the season tickets cost $18.31, Let's say that the individual tickets cost $20 for home plate seats. That's anywhere from third base to first base around home plate. If you meet the 90% of full capacity, your ticket revenue is looking to be in the $10 million range. Hashtag sounds good to me.